All right, everybody, how's it going? So many of you probably have heard of Killzone in the past. Maybe you played it in its heyday on the PS3. Maybe you played the more recent one on the PS4 that was a launch title, which means that I believe there's been at least 10 or close to 10 years since the last Killzone game. And many people like myself have been trying to figure out, what are you doing? Are you going to make a new Killzone game after Horizon? Maybe in between the Horizon games, you'll make another one. What's going on? Well, it turns out, Guerrilla Games has officially killed off Killzone and are no longer ever going to touch it again. From Bounty in the Comics, we have Guerrilla Games confirms they're done with Killzone, now focusing completely on Horizon. In a move that is sure to divide gamers, Guerrilla Games has confirmed that in order to fully dedicate their time and attentions to the future of their Horizon series, the studio has officially sunset their previous Killzone series. Yes, they have gotten rid of the series that made this studio you are completely shelving your entire legacy that is an easy cash grab once you're ready to make a reboot or remake of them these people are this fucking stupid oh my god guerrilla games full turn away from their dark and gritty fps origins was revealed by studio art director roy postma in a recent interview with the washington post given in promotion of their upcoming lego horizon adventures asked by the outlets gene park about the current status of the killzone franchise postman stated we were done with it as a team as a studio we need to refresh our palette horizon was by choice conceived as the opposite of killzone no one likes horizon for anything other than killing robot dinosaurs Aloy is a horrible character. If you played the first one and you did the side activities, she's a raving cunt to anybody unless they're black or a woman. She's extremely fucking Mary Sue feminist. In the sequel, she's just a raving cunt to everybody. And she gained 20 pounds. Oh yeah, also she likes tacos. She's now a fucking gay. She's, she's a gay now. So wh 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 what do people like about that? nothing nothing people only play the game to kill robot dinosaurs she's not even hot anymore so next up in the article it covers like the comparison of killzone versus horizon but there's one point i want to make emphasizing this aspect of aloy's adventure postman noted i think the themes that this story and the characters represent are relatable for all ages and people like having a found family of friends and finding your place in the world no this doesn't really work when you break down Horizon and realize just how much of a, like I mentioned, Mary Sue plot armor bitch she is. To compare everything, she's nothing special. She's just a clone of a chick from like 3,000 years ago or something stupid. She somehow is better at a bow than people with 20 plus years of experience. She somehow is better than tracking at people with 20 years of experience. She has the focus that is, you know, she's able to like scan everything. But in the first game, within the first two hours, she sees another person with a focus. She can override machines. But if you play the first game, the main villains can override machines. There's nothing special about her. There's nothing. She's not like some super powered android or genetically modified. There is nothing special about her except because I say so. She's better than everyone else who has way more experience, way more experience. But because she's main protagonist, gotta have that plot armor. She's the bestest ever. No one's going to like that. No one's going to like a character who just is good because you say she's good. No one likes Mary Sue's. Next up, they're going to get into the Lego Horizon game, which is a nightmare. So here we go. As noted above, Lego Horizon Avengers is set to be the series' next official release. Made in collaboration with Studio Gobo, as no noted industry support studio who has previously provided assistance on such titles as For Honor, Disney Infinity, and Hogwarts Legacy, the game, like other such Lego spin-offs, will present players with a more whimsical and playful take on Aloy's world. You're just ruining the entire IP which is already in shambles. 
is a post-apocalyptic world and you're now trying to make it cutesy with Lego. This is a cash grab. No one fucking wants this. No one does. Hell, people hate Horizon now because of the second one. The first one wasn't all that great, but the second one sealed the deal of making it shit. But now you're trying to make it a joke. I watched the trailer for the Horizon Lego game. It was shit. And you expect people to do what? To like, you know, have their kids play Horizon and then they go play the actual games where they're dealing with a raving cunt the entire time. Oh, and she's also gay and a Mary Sue. Yeah, that's going to go over so well. No, no, it's going to be a horrible fucking experience. The only people that are going to play Lego Horizon Adventures are kids. And then they're going to play the other games, the actual games in the mainline series, which is probably going to make them very pissed off that how bad those games are. In addition to their Lego collaboration, as previously announced, Guerrilla Games has also confirmed that another mainline Horizon game starring Aloy is already in development, to nobody's surprise. Further rumors have also swirled that a online multiplayer offering is in the works, though details regarding its existence currently remain scarce. If you want more evidence that they are milking this series, like a already dead cow and well a rainbow fag cow this is evidence right here they're trying to make a multiplayer game when has that ever been a good idea no one wants that maybe co-op but no one wants a fucking online multiplayer that screams team deathmatch capture the flag maybe a hero shooter possibly is going to be bad but they're that desperate to milk this IP to get as much money from it as possible. All in all, this shift to making more optimistic content, especially in regards to LEGO Horizon Adventures, marks a significant change for Gorilla. Duh. Reflecting on this change, Postman noted, making people laugh when they play the game, that was new for us. You're not supposed to laugh at a post-apocalyptic game. You're supposed to enjoy the world building of a post-apocalyptic game. And a major aspect of a post-apocalyptic game is, yes, there's signs of hope, but it's mainly signs of death, destruction, and decay. I, I don't know how you can somehow make a Lego game a post-apocalyptic world. They're, they're just going to try to make it like a prime example that I can think of off the top of my head of a similar type of game is like the movie tie-in game from way back when, like when Shrek 2 came out, there was a very, you know, cartoony, like team-based game, that kind of shit. I think they're going to go for that route with this trash Lego game. I've never played a Lego game. I hate Legos. They're fun when you're a kid, but grow the fuck up while you're playing a goddamn Lego game. That's just gay. So I don't know how Lego games are. Apparently they have decent humor in them or they at least used to. But in today's writing, no, it's going to be bad. But yeah, um, that's that's it. The, the entire article I'll have posted in the description if you want to read the entire thing. It's officially dead. They've killed Killzone. And of course, they are going to jump to the bandwagon of Horizon. There's a possibility when Horizon is just revealed to be the dog shit that it is and loses sales maybe they will revive Killzone maybe they'll take it and have another studio make something kind of like how Blue Point took the Demon Souls games and did a remake of that maybe they will do some remakes of Killzone because that's just easy money they're going to if they're ever going to re revive Killzone it will only be when they're desperate for money that is why I will never buy another Guerrilla game ever again when it comes to Insomniac, they did the exact same thing with like the Ratchet and Clank game. I don't think they're going to make another one of those anytime soon. They're just sticking to a fucking Spidey man, that gay ass woke trash. So a lot of these studios are just abandoning their past, abandoning their legacy. You can even look at Sucker Punch with the Infamous games. Does anyone remember Infamous? Yeah, it's the Infamous is the exact same thing as Killzone. We're not having that anymore. We're not having any of that. 
because these people are abandoning the series that made them to go to a cash cow that is more relevant and popular, but fail to realize it's going to turn to shit. It already is turning to shit. And I know with like, for instance, Sucker Punch, like I just mentioned with Infamous, the Ghost of Yote trailer is evidence enough you are going to lose your fan base. I don't care about Ghost of Tsushima being successful. I didn't like the game. It bored the shit out of me. But Ghost of Yote is just fucking full on Mary Sue with an activist main character. She's ugly as shit because she's mild after the, the activist voice actress. So that's another prime example of series that are stabbing themselves in the throat. Anyway, I don't want to ramble anymore on. I appreciate you guys for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments. And until next time, have a good one.